Welcome to another episode of Coronacation, where culture, health and spirituality comes together in time of coronavirus. This is Naomi White in Brisbane, Australia, and I am joined by another fellow Brisbane person, Caro Stalker. How are you, Caro? I'm great, thanks, Naomi. How are you? Nice to see you. I'm excellent, thank you. Caro, tell us a little bit about yourself. So I am a, an architect by training, and my current role is that I direct design in architecture and urbanism across the Australasian region. So that's uh, projects in the capital cities of Australia and Singapore and Southeast Asia uh, for global design firm Arup. It's a very exciting role. Do a bit of traveling, usually, not at the moment. <laughs> not now. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And you're, um, you're also a musician, aren't you? I am. That is uh, my uh, secret pleasure. I love, <laughs> love having music. It keeps me sane. And very fortunate to be the mother of two lovely boys and happily married. So, lovely. Yeah. Um, well, tell me, how is coronavirus, how is this situation we find ourselves in at the moment affecting you personally? Well, it's really interesting. I think I'm probably experiencing similar impacts to other people working at home. You know, the, the days are quite long on the screen and making sure we get out and exercise and all of those sorts of things. I'm seeing more of my family, which I'm liking. But it's also making me think. And it's, and it's making me think about the things that two, uh, two things have happened or that I've noticed. On the one hand, I feel because we're confined to our uh, suburbs, I feel closer to my local community and paradoxically also, or at the same time, closer to my global community of people that I work with in Arab. So on the one hand, the kind of the physical um, suburb, I feel more connected to because I'm in it more because I'm going out twice a day to walk and I'm running into people and, you know, there's people in the suburb who've got, uh, who need food packages and we've got a lovely little project um, at Arab about connecting with your suburb. Uh, which I'll tell you about in a second. And then also I'm finding uh, that the borders of being in an office have been removed and I feel actually closer to my global colleagues and some of my colleagues, you know, in Singapore and other places um, where before I needed to get on a plane to feel like we were having quality time. So it's quite interesting, the kind of the two different dimensions where we've been brought together. Uh, one of the lovely things that we're doing with this a connection to uh, our local places and also our regional um, Australasian region thing is in our team we're doing a project about contributing small things to our local community but we're doing it all at the same time across five different cities so our design team our landscape architects our architects and our urban designers we're all doing a small community benefit project Something like a small library um, on the street or a, a nice seat or some kind of community intervention that will in, contribute to our local community but we're all doing it at the same time um, across the region so it's a beautiful opportunity to ex explore I guess um, those two dimensions while we've also got this little bit of extra time at either end of our day that we didn't have before because we were commuting. You've raised a couple of really interesting points one is is this some situation we find ourselves in making us kinder generally um, secondly what impact is this going to have on the future of work down the track because if you think organizations determine their real estate footprint based on how many bodies they need in the office organizations have been um, are fairly diverse in how they think about work from home now we've got the situation where everybody's been thrust into home and your experience is, well, actually, there's many things about it that are working better. I feel closer to my global community. Than I did. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think um, on your first question, is it making us kinder? I think it, I think it is. I think um, you can see even in Australia, you know, uh, both sides of politics are reconciling yes, more yes. easily. You know, where, where some of the argy-bargy is gone, um, there's a recognition that this is tough times for everyone and we all really need to pull together and we need to support one another. Absolutely, that's really clear. And as, whenever you get on a call with someone, the first thing is, how are you going? You know, like a really genuine, how are you? Not just the how are you. 
So I think that definitely people are more interested in one another at the moment and supporting one another. Yeah, I think it's made us kinder. With the work from home thing, I think um, uh, I think that you know organisations will be really reevaluating uh, how much office space they need, because mm. <laughs> more of us are going to want to spend more time working at home. Because I think this this um, sort of boundary um, of uh, online working has been shattered once and for all. And we're all getting much more used to working that way. Mm. Uh, and I think more of us will want to enjoy the benefits of being at home, seeing more of our family, commuting less, and mixing that up with the face-to-face -face when we go back. And so, of course, for people looking at office space allocation, it will be, well, how much do we need? Yeah. You know, do we need a seat for everyone? No, we don't. How do we manage that? How do we reduce our overheads then? Because we don't need as huge office spaces and... You know, all of that stuff, I think that's now more up for grabs, definitely. Absolutely. So what perspectives have you got um, or advice for other women around the world? You know, as, as imagine your, your role as an architect, one who works in urban design, I imagine you have some really interesting perspectives in that area, but also just general advice that things that you're uh, doing to help yourself through this time period. Well, what you can't see, it's just off screen, but I can see it. I've got these two got these two sheets uh, just in front of me. Um, I've got the COVID era, era sanity plan music. <laughs> COVID era sanity plan work. And these are the things that I'm going to try and do over the next 12 weeks to make sure I stay sane and don't, you know, drift. Um, yes. So that's one of my, uh, that would be one of my pieces of advice, or at least that's how I'm trying to manage uh, this time of isolation. Um, to make sure that I use that extra time that I've got in the house to do some of the things that I've been wanting to do and think about some of the things that I've been wanting to think about, but I've always said I haven't got time for. So special music projects, special uh, work projects, things that I want to think about with um, work and, and kind of reconceptualise. Uh, so that, that's a way that I'm, I'm managing it. Um, uh, you know, that, that will suit some people and maybe not others, that kind of more structured approach. Uh, with the cities element, I think that's really interesting. I think it's going to help us focus uh, more as a, on, on this idea of where we live and how we connect to our home environments and our home communities and, and the notion that our suburbs uh, are not necessarily always somewhere we live. We leave in the day, but where we might want to invest more in our local community as part of our daily life and our working life. And I think the whole dormitory suburbs thing, particularly now, lots of households have got two people, two parents working, you know, in this generation. Um, and so the suburbs kind of empty during the day. Uh, I think that will start to change. And, uh, and I think, of course, there will need to be changes to public spaces and how we occupy public spaces and the facilities we provide that uh, helps shape more local community. Uh, we've got it, we're in our, we're calling it um, the creation of superbia. Superbia. <laughs> superbia, that's what, <laughs> the new utopia, that's right. Good. <laughs> Apparently it was the name of a band in the 1990s, but um, we've adopted it for, for our own evil purposes. <laughs> Oh, no, that's absolutely fantastic, Caro. I look forward to uh, seeing what your time in the time of coronavirus eventuates with in terms of musical projects. But you've had some great perspectives. Thank you so much for your time and enjoy your evening. Thank you for doing this brilliant project. Good on you, Naomi. Thanks, Caro. See you. Bye.